Hi, so uh, instead of a vlog, I decided to do something a little bit different and I'm going to discuss and review um, a movie that I saw a few days ago. Uh, the movie is actually a documentary. It is called The Champions and it is streaming right now on Netflix. The Champions does tell the story of the Michael Vick dogs. Um, I'm sure you are aware of the Michael Vick dog fighting dogs. And this documentary does tell the journey of those dogs, where they came from and where they are right now. It also does spend a pretty decent amount focusing on Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. So Best Friends did uh, take 22 of the Michael Vick dogs onto their property. Um, in an attempt to rehabilitate them and to get them loving homes. Um, there is this stigma around dog fighting dogs that once a dog comes from this history that there is no going back, that the dog will never be able to be adopted, that the dog is just way too violent. Also considering that most of the Michael Vick dogs, if not all maybe, were pit bulls, there is this huge prejudice against pit bulls that they're just this violent breed by nature and Best Friends, just as an organization, does fight that stigma. They have lawyers who fight um, anti-pit uh, bull or just breed specific laws which basically do determine that if you have a pit bull you are not allowed to live in certain neighborhoods. You know, certain cities, certain states do have laws against pit bulls saying that if you have one you're not allowed to live there which is just insane. There's no such thing as a violent dog, you know, by nature. You know, dogs are not born nasty. They're not born aggressive. Most importantly, this documentary does show that you do not need to kill these dogs who come from this horrible past. It is possible to rehabilitate them. There were some dogs in the Michael Vick case that were deemed by the government to be too dangerous and they are forced uh, to live the remaining of their life at best friends. But that's better than killing these animals. There's no reason to kill animals that have this sort of history. And because of best friends and because of the Michael Vick dogs, there are organizations out there, like the Humane Society, who are now considering taking care of dogs that come from this background. And that's just very, very, very important. Uh, Michael Vick, um, I don't want to get into too much about him, because also this documentary is really not about him. There's one person that they focus on in the documentary that kind of wanted uh, Michael Vick to kind of understand what he did. And it seems like he has the biggest grudge against him. But the majority of the documentary is not about Michael Vick. It's not important. He's not important. The focus is on these dogs. The focus is on these living creatures who deserve a second chance. Like I said before, I am a supporter of Best Friends. I believe that breed-specific laws are bullshit. Sh that, that should not exist in any way. I hope this documentary reaches people who believe that pit bulls are nasty by nature. I'm, I know that people who love animals and who love pit bulls and who agree with everything that this documentary has to say, I know they're going to watch it, but I'm hoping that people out there who do not agree with me watch this documentary and learn something from it. Um, you Just take your time, sit down, it's an hour and 30 minutes, and just try to think about why you believe these animals are bad by nature and why these animals deserve to die. Just give it a shot and I believe that this documentary has the power to change minds of people who believe that pit bulls are bad and that once you have a bad dog you cannot change them. And I'm hoping that this documentary reaches those people. So, uh, in terms of the champions, I am going to give it a 10 out of 10. I was entertained by it. I was also informed by it. Give this documentary a shot. It is streaming right now on Netflix. It's an hour and 30 minutes. Give it a shot. 
Alright, so that is the end of this video. Um, if you like this type of content, I might make some more. Um, or I might make some more vlogs. Either way, see you next time.